This is how it works. If God wants to raise the, life, the dead in your life, you can't raise the dead, only God can do that. But he's going to give you instruction. An instruction like, roll away the stone. And rolling away the stone is not an easy thing. Because you're going to push that boulder of rock away from the tomb. So you need the strength each day to execute the tough instructions that is required to create excellence. Because if you're not creating excellence in your work, you're not creating glory for your God. The Bible said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. If you're not diligently, painstakingly, meticulously creating excellence in your daily assignment, you can't bring glory to God. Bringing glory to God is not just by clapping hands and making noise in the neighborhood. But the Bible says that we are God's workmanship, prepared, created in Christ Jesus to do good works that God has prepared in advance for us to do. And for you to push the limit, for you to push the envelope, for you to go that extra mile, you need strength from God. You need to pray each morning for that extra strength, for that wisdom to push away the boulder of rock so Jesus can raise the dead. God doesn't give anybody cheap assignments. God doesn't give anybody easy job because God is not cheap. Before he multiplied the bread and fed the multitude, he told Peter and the disciples, arrange the people. That's not an easy thing to arrange 20,000 people in groups of 50s and in groups of 100. These were unruly, wild, hungry, frustrated people. And I don't know how long it took them, but Jesus waited until they had created that order. It took a lot of sweat. It took a lot of work. Your assignment would demand diligence. It would demand hard work. It would demand serious effort to execute the instruction of God for your life. And for that, you need to come before God each morning in prayer to draw strength so that you can execute. Tell your neighbor, it's time to stop lazying about. Push that person. Push the person. Push him like you're talking to them. It's time to stop lazying about. Hallelujah.